enough already. You walk into the sun-splashed olives, mossy trunks, greener than fresh grass. This doesn't seem to be enough, so you think, even here they grow olives, only on warm terraces, and ask who first found that olives had to be cured. This cleverness, too, does not satisfy. So, walking hand in hand into the grove, you say, the world needs us and other lovers to give such life, which would do nicely for most, save those who'd leave it for a creator. But then, alone, you look real close, and the black spot on the green bark you reach for sharpens, into inch and a half of scorpion and you see a red beetle and by God that does suffice. Thank you. So it's just, um, yeah, there isn't too much science in that poem. No, it's good. Do you, do you find science as inspiration for writing? Yes, it is. Um, it is limited because some of the sort of poetry and science is dependent on being part of the cognitive framework uh, of knowing what went before, what it's about. But part of it is, the, what I find inspiring is the, the language, uh, kind of natural language that scientists speak. And they don't think the language is important. They think equations and chemical formulas are important. But the language is all we've got, and this language is made to serve and to express things. So words like energy and force mean special things well defined, and you try to make them fit. And then there are words invented and words used. Let me give you an example. Mm. Uh, what often happens to me is, uh, it's given to me to go to dull seminars, and uh, sometimes after I fall asleep, uh, I wake up and it's still going on. And so I, I listen sometimes to the words, even if they're not so interesting. And then someone came at a seminar and was talking about some mathematical equation. He said, let us assume free boundary conditions. He was talking about some technical words. Boundary conditions are what you do on a, a mathematical equation to make it fit at the ends. But sort of the idea, free boundaries was very interesting because it was a, a typical Zen idea of yeah. something being free and something being constrained. So I worked that into a poem. So the language is interesting. <laughs>